All right, guys, I'm back finally, and uh, I'm out here in the garage, and I'm thinking, as you know, everything's done on the car. It's 100% ready to go to the track. Everything's ready to go. Been working on it. So I come out here, and I'm starting to think, and I'm like, oh, what could I do? And then I'm like, oh, let's change everything on it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, as you've seen, my... Intake used to be facing the other way and the intercooler used to be in the dash. Well, I don't really like that. It worked out really well for the time. Uh, it was easy to run the piping and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna take it out of there just because I'm gonna seal the firewall. Cause look, I mean, you can see straight into the cab. I had to cut the inner liner and everything. So don't worry, all this will get fixed. It'll get welded in a new patch from a, a, a new Mustang cowl. And then I've got a, uh, I bought a Scott rod panel that goes all the way across. That's uh, it'll delete all these holes and everything. It'll look really nice when it's done. So we're gonna fix that just so we don't get no. I mean the fuel lines are right here. This wasn't you know 100% leak proof. So just for safety, we're gonna come hell or high water. The intercooler is going in the front bumper skin one way or another. And here's what the cooler looks like. So you get an idea how big this thing is. It actually is, you know, here's my hand. It's it's pretty big. This is a Precision PT-1000. It's a real Precision. It's not a uh, like an eBay one or something like that. That's a real Garrett core. Anyways, uh, so yeah, what I'm thinking here is we're going to flip the throttle body around forward. I'm going to have to buy a new intake uh, elbow just because this one's too tall now and it won't clear the hood, but that ain't no big deal. And then... Uh, Instead of having the turbo outlet up here facing this way, I've spun it around so it's down low. And we're gonna, ha I'm thinking the pipe's just gonna come straight out and curve over to the intercooler and then curve them out and then go back up. So it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, we're probably gonna have to change the mounting of the radiator, which also isn't a huge deal. Thank God it's nice and small. It's got me, I've got some movability with it. So yeah, let's. First things first is get the, the radiator out of here and let's kind of mock up where the intercooler would set. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, uh, radiator's out. Half of the freaking fluid went on the floor, but thank God I have a drain in here. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what I'm working with as far as room. We should, camera really doesn't do it justice. There isn't much room on these cars. These Fox body engine bays aren't that big. Especially once you cram a V8 in here, a turbo kit, a giant ass turbo, um, a radiator, an intercooler. You run out of room really fast. And this car is, is, is cut up pretty good. I mean, it's got the tube front, a lot of the bumpers cut up. So I can't imagine having this all stock. I mean, I don't see how it would fit in here. This, that is a good size turbo. And uh, the freaking LS guys, they don't gotta worry about this all this sticking out crap on the front of a small block Ford because they uh the LS's are a little bit more flat on the front, which is nice. It seems like always LS cars have more room, but so yeah, this is what I'm working with. Um when I made the, the turbo kit looks like it's gonna work out really well, so I'm happy I don't gotta change anything with that. Uh this will just come straight out and turn. So let me get the intercooler in there and uh see maybe kind of what kind of room we got. All right, guys, this is kind of what I've got. I got the inner, the radiator pulled out, and uh, I've tried just about every option, and uh, it seems like this is gonna be best here, pretty much, is uh, we're gonna lay the radiator down flat and move it more forward, and then the inner cooler is gonna lay something about like this in there. So the outlet of the turbo here will just go to this bottom one here. Should be pretty easy. And then this top one will uh, go up to the throttle body. I can kind of give you a little bit of a visual representation of what that might look like. So it look, you know, something about like about like that. Should look pretty good. So I went ahead and uh bought a bunch of parts. Like I said, I got the Scott Rod panels coming, and then I bought a uh intercooler kit, piping kit from Motion Race Works. And then I've got a uh, new throttle body elbow coming. 
So I'm not gonna do anything else here. This will be kind of a multi-part series. I just gotta wait for parts. Hopefully they'll be here in a few days and then we can start on the fab stuff. So should look pretty good when it's all said and done. Uh, hopefully you stick around and watch how this stuff turns out. Uh, one quick thing here is, as you guys seen, another thing that's gonna be a little bit of a, was gonna be in the way is, okay, so if this pipe's gonna be coming up to the throttle body now, if you've seen, I had my return fuel line, it kind of looped out here, kind of ugly anyway, but uh, so we're gonna fix that. I found some, just some stuff that I had, this little U, so it'll probably go like this, loop back like that, and then I got another U right here, you know, and I can make it tight down fit or whatever. Just, uh, that's just stuff I had laying around and it will, it, I don't have to buy anything when I do it like that and it looks pretty good, so. I'll just make up this quick A in line here and fix the fuel system. Just like that, it's all done, it looks clean. Nice and up out of the way, I have lots of room for the pipe to go now. Um, yeah, if you uh, guys don't use A in lines, you should, they're really, really easy to work with. Um, yeah, that looks a lot cleaner, so. And the great, best part is it didn't cost me any money, I have this whole fitting, I got a whole box of uh this is my fittings box for old stuff or whatever so looks good